Welcome back everyone. It's good to have you again. In this lecture, we're going to be working with subroutine return values. So again, this is section five, lecture four. So let's jump right into it. So subroutine return values. So the subroutine does an operation on an expression within the curly braces of our instructions and it returns the results. So that's the whole point and purpose of the return values of a subroutine is just to calculate or do an operation on, a, on an expression within the curly braces and return some kind of value. So once the subroutine returns the calculated results, it almost immediately exits the current block of code. So once it returns the value, where it reads the return statement, it exits the block of code and goes to the next line of, an, of the Perl instructions in the program. So for a quick example, if we define our add underscore numbers subroutine, and of course, as we see, we want the instructions to print our math operation, which is 40 plus six is 46, create a new line character, and if we go to the second Perl instruction, we have the return keyword. So it's going to return this calculated expression, which is 46 for the results. So once we call add underscore numbers, it's going to display our output 46 and it's going to return 46 as well. And again, we can save this, this value from added numbers or add numbers subroutine. So if we go down here, I've created a scalar variable to save our return, our return value. So as we can see, we declare our scalar variable and we just assign it and call the add underscore numbers subroutine. So let's do some quick examples for I can show you live how it works. So we first start by defining our user subroutine. So I'll start by defining that. We start with sub for the keyword and I'll do added or add underscore numbers again. My pair of parentheses followed by my curly braces. And again, for our print statement, we'll use to display some output. And again, I'll just use the numbers 40, the math operator, which is the plus sign or addition, plus six, followed by a comma. And we want to add a new line character. Well, you know what? I'll add two new line characters for displaying purposes. And now we're going to add a return statement. So again, I'll just use my parentheses. And the reason why I use parentheses because I'm just used to pretty much math, you know, PEMDAS. So it always looks at, you know, parentheses first. So that's just what I'm used to in, in math. So I'll do 40 plus six for our return value. And what I'll do, I'll actually, I want to save that value in a scalar variable. So I'll do add it. Let's do added the added numbers. And I'll assign it our add underscore numbers subroutine. I'll add my end character to call it. And that's pretty much it. So let's go back up. We can click run script and let's see what happens. There we have it. We have the first one, which is our print statement. And then we have assigned our return value inside our added underscore numbers scalar variable, but we want to make sure that it is there. So let's add another print statement to display 
the value inside added underscore numbers scalar variable. So we can do print. And of course, I love my double quotation marks because I can add escape characters, which are new lines. And I'll just copy my scalar variable into our print statement. So if I'm right, it should display 46 the first time, add two new lines. And for the second one, I'll put um, return value just to make it look a little bit different. Return value. So let's just say return value 46. So I'll go back up, click run, run script. And that's what we have. The first 46 from our print statement. And then it went down. It calculated our return value. We called it again and we're saving the value into our scalar variable. And we're just reprinting a, another string with our value of 46. So pretty much that's in a nutshell, guys. If you guys have any questions on return values, how they work, please feel free to let me know. And I'll see you guys in our next lecture.